Hello and welcome back to Tea with Tracy. Coming to you live every Tuesday at 12, spilling relevant tips, trends, and talking all things real estate and home ownership related. First of all, Happy New Year. It is our first episode of 2022, and I'm so happy to be back here with you. New year and new episodes of Tea with Tracy. Today, we're going to be talking about how to eliminate and reduce toxins within your home. Joining us is nutritionist, cookbook author, and healthy living expert, Valerie Pence. Without further ado, let's get Valerie on to join us. Valerie, we have sound. Hey, Hey, how are you? Happy New Year. I'm good. Happy New Year. (laughs) Thank you so much for joining us today. So glad to have you on. Um, And the topic that we will be, or have you back, because you've been on before chatting with us. Um, But today, I'm really excited about this topic because um, I think that there are a lot of things within our homes that we don't even realize are not healthy for our bodies. Um, So I know I'm going to be having you back periodically throughout the year as there are a number of topics related to how we can keep our homes healthy. Um, And today we're going to be talking about newer homes as a new construction versus older homes or older, you know, have been built previously. Um, And you're going to help us identify what some of the toxins are within those different types of homes and what we can do to eliminate or reduce them. So, so excited to talk about that because every one of, you know, a new year's resolution is always right. Like, go to the gym, like do things like everybody wants to get healthier and be fit and do things that are better for them. But there might be some easy things that we can do that, um, you know, don't entail leaving our homes. (laughs) Sure. Yeah. It's not really a sexy new year's resolution to be like, (laughs) I'm going to clean up my house this right. year. Like, right? Everybody right. wants to know I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to whatever. So sure, it's not the sexiest idea, um, but it sure does make a difference once you're in the know about those things that are actually affecting our health that are within our walls, yeah. the space that we live in, right. and then you learn how to address them. It can make a huge, huge difference and actually a huge difference in achieving those other goals that you have. Yeah. Um, so we can talk about that a little bit too. Yes, absolutely. So, okay. So new home versus old home. Okay. I live in an existing home, right? It's not a new construction. It was built 20 plus years ago, which there are some that have been around for over a hundred years. Um, yes. what are some of the, the things that we should be looking for as homeowners in our existing homes? Sure. Let's talk about that. So just like you, so my, my first home that I purchased that was, um, in the village, it was over a hundred years old when I purchased it. So, um, that came with some unique challenges that I was not aware of. I just thought it was a cool old home. I liked every unique thing about it. No 90 degree angles anywhere. Um, it was very interesting. And now I own a newer home that had been completely remodeled just before I bought it. So I've actually been in both categories. um, And now that I've actually treated several people that have shown conditions and symptoms based on things that were in their home causing them to get sick, I can see the different areas when there's issues with an old home and there can be issues with a new home. So, So yeah, you may fall into one of two categories. You may not even know that some of your symptoms are actually linked to things that are existing in your home. Okay. So, well, let's back up then a little bit. What are some of the symptoms that people can experience that they might have no idea is actually coming from their home? Sure. And this is challenging because people will spin their wheels and they will go to several specialists and the doctors will say, all the tests are fine. I don't know what to tell you. Um, So things like headaches, um, poor sleep, even things like chronic pain, Um, When you're talking about, I'm just kind of achy all over. I don't know what it is. Is it chronic pain syndrome? What is that? Um, So anything that seems out of the ordinary that you just kind of feel like you're in a funk. Okay. So it can be memory issues, brain fog. You're just in a funk. You're just not operating at your best where you're like, I don't know what's different. Everything on my test scores looks the same. What's going on? Right. Um, So they can be small things. They can be big things. Okay. 
So they might be things that you might not even notice, or it might take a while for you to notice, or yes. something else has to come in. And so, um, so doing some of these things that you're going to suggest as preventative measures, even um, could right. be very helpful. And you might notice a difference and, and not even know that there was an issue. Sure. Right. When you start feeling better, it's kind of like when you get glasses, you didn't realize how poorly you were seeing until you got glasses. Right. And right. then you realize, oh, shoot, I haven't been seeing you well. So or, it's it's kind of like that. Or now that I'm hitting the age where I'm trying to read the fine print on boxes and I'm like, oh, <laughs> put those little, <laughs> I can see it right, so you much hand better. You it to your teenager and you're like, what does that say? Right. Like, yeah. <laughs> what does this say? Exactly. exactly. Yeah. So in an old home, certainly one of the first things, and as a realtor, you probably let your clients know like, hey, it's it's this many years old, we need to check for mold or we need to address the topic of mold. Um, so mold is definitely one of those hidden dangers that um, can definitely affect your health. I was treating a client that she had trouble getting pregnant. She thought it was fertility issues and she was living in an old farmhouse and come to realize she had many symptoms that were alleviated once she moved out. Okay. She had no idea. And being able to have a healthy pregnancy was one of them. So right. um, checking for mold, certainly that's like top of the list when you're going to have an old house. And which we're, Another one. which we're not saying, which I will say from the real estate perspective, yes, mold can cause issues. However, it is very, it, it, you, it can be remediated. So it's not a reason you don't have to leave your house. Um, gotcha. <laughs> so you can have mold remediated. And then there are other things you can do on top of that as well. Right. Sure. Yes. I should have mentioned the girl that left her house. She was renting. She was renting that yeah. house. So she just <laughs> up and moved. Yeah. Okay. So no, no, no. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Up and leave. Okay. Um, also, certainly the air docks. So this is a thing, actually, a lot of people have this issue at work too, because they might work in an old office building or an office building that they're not cleaning the air ducts there. So certainly cleaning the air ducts is like first and foremost. That is a very simple thing to do. There's lots of reputable companies. Get a good referral. Yep. Um, which I'm sure you have. Oh, yes. Certainly. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that's get and, the air ducts cleaned. Yeah. And that's my home inspector. He always, you know, when we're going through that with buyers, and that's one thing that's always recommended. I mean, if you were to see some of the pictures from the air duct companies when they go through and clean you would be shocked so because oh, keeping in no, mind that that yeah. what's what's settling and what is in your air ducts that's going through your entire home circulating and you are breathing that in you're so. breathing it in mm -hmm. certainly and you're breathing it in deep when you're asleep right so right i mean there's that going on so certainly yeah. those are two things that you can definitely be on the lookout for um in an old home then with new homes there's some things that transfer old homes and new homes so when you buy an old home a lot of times um, you're doing all those things. You're like, okay, it's healthy. And you're like, but I'm going to make it my own. I'm going to put a clear coat of paint or like every room is right. going to be new and bright and beautiful. <laughs> and I picked out all these fabulous colors, yep. right? And you want to make it your own. So these are one of the things that overlaps between old homes and new homes. So new homes and things like paint have something called VOCs. Now, I'm not sure if you've ever seen that label on paint or on furniture or on building materials, but VOCs, it stands for Volatile Organic Compounds. Now, usually when you hear me say the word organic, <laughs> it's usually a positive thing. Right. I'm like, organic this and organic that. Right. <laughs> um, but I'm, and I'm, ironically enough, my my mother-in-law bought me a little a little sign that says, don't panic, it's organic, right? So, okay, we understand normally I'm saying organic, I mean positive. But in this situation, it's actually toxic and most of them are carcinogenic chemicals, things that we would know by like formaldehyde. Mm. That's a VOC. Okay, so why are they using VOCs and things like building materials, paint, furniture? It's because it does help to resist mold and mildew from building up or collecting on these materials. And it also helps for paint to dry really fast. Okay. So they're using it for a good reason, but it's actually very dangerous for our health. So when you're talking about old or new, if you're using regular paints, right. any brand, you have to be careful of the VOCs. So since companies know, we're now very informed consumers. Right. So many of the companies offer either low or no VOC paint. Okay. And it's still high quality paint. You're going to get a good yes. product 
based on that. So I actually ju things. just had to have a portion of my basement repainted um, as part of a repair. And my painter was like, you don't want this paint, you want that paint. So there are conscious uh, contractors out there as well that, um, yes. yes, that are looking out for yes, your best. They should have no problem. Whether you do it yep. yourself or yep. you have somebody do it, if they're telling you like, oh, that's not good, you're not gonna want that, maybe ask around for another painter. Right. <laughs> because, <laughs> Overall, so short-term and long-term issues you can see from things like VOCs. So if you've moved into a new house and you're starting to have those things where like, oh yeah, she mentioned headaches, she mentioned I don't sleep well. Like, I guess as soon as I moved in, I started not feeling great. That can definitely happen with new building materials. So I have a client just built a new house. Sure enough, like, I don't know what happened, Valerie. I feel like crap three months later after moving in. It's all these chemicals coming off. But there are things you can do. So again, okay. you don't have to abandon this new beautiful right. home that you just <laughs> found with Tracy who moved you in and you're like, okay, I have to move again. You don't have to move again. So okay. there's very simple things that you can do. Things like house plants. Okay. okay. I don't have a green thumb. My mom's a great gardener. I didn't get any of that. I'm <laughs> terrible. I like kill everything, right? Unfortunately. And I love fresh things and like, right. I'm not great at it. But there are lots of houseplants that are really effortless, really effortless. Yes. Things like an aloe vera plant. It's really difficult to kill this thing. And it's <laughs> super detoxifying. And it's great to have on hand. Like aloe yep. can do tons of things for you. Right. Sniff and you have fresh aloe. So um, houseplants, you really can't go wrong. You can find all sorts of lists for the top 10 detoxifying plants, but aloe vera, cheap, easy yeah. to keep. And the more you surround yourself with these fresh plants, they'll help to detoxify the air. Okay. Um, so do you, yeah. so you suggest placing them throughout the house? Absolutely. Okay. Yes. And it's one of those things <laughs> I've heard somebody compare it to getting cats. Now I'm not a cat person, so I don't <laughs> get it, but it's like, once you get one, you get more. Okay. And so plants are kind of like that. Once you get one, you just get more yeah. and it's kind of addictive, which I'm okay with that addiction. House plants. That's all right. It's You're a healthy, okay it's that. a healthy addiction. So yeah. <laughs> just don't forget to water them. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. And they're, yes, the most low maintenance ones are like once a week, once every couple of weeks. Yes. So that's pretty those good. Are, those are the only ones I can keep alive. Same, same, same. I'm with you. <laughs> yeah. So if you're not a plant person or you're like, Valerie, I travel too much or like, I, I'm never going to be around my plants. Like they will die. It's a waste. Um, therapeutic grade essential oils. So not essential oils you're going to find at like the local drug store or right. department store, but something therapeutic grade. There's several lines out there now that all do a great job. Right. You, they have like detoxifying blends that you can use that help to detoxify the air. So right. houseplants, essential oils, um, lots of options in regards to trying to manage the toxins that are just in the house, whether it's old house or new house. And they can make it your house smell good too. So, cause oh, I know, I, I know you're not a fan and I'm really not either of like the, the plug-in type devices, you know, that oh, let yeah. off chemicals in your house. Sure. Um, I know, like I always suggest to my clients when they're ready to list, I'm like, do not use those. They think like, oh, it makes the house smell nice. I'm like, it, it, it actually does. <laughs> it actually doesn't like, and, and for some of us who are more sensitive, um, it actually causes me it, myself personally to not want to be in the space any longer. So. Yes, oh, so. absolutely. We went and looked at lots of homes. If they have the smelly candles going, or I can tell they've got some kind of plug in, I walk in, I turn around, I'm like, can't do it. Yep, I walk no. out, I'm like, can't look at the house. <laughs> this isn't it. Yeah. So essential oils. I mean, they smell good, but it, but it is a, it is a pure, a pure scent. But they're purifying. Yeah. Yes. yes. But you do want to make sure, like you said, if you're, if you're confused or you're not sure what a good therapeutic brand is, you can go to your local health food store. We have some here locally, like Orion, Oxford, surrounding areas. Yes. Go to your yeah. local health food store and they will be able to direct you to a quality product. So. Without a doubt. Yeah, yeah I agree 100 percent. That's so. very good. Um, so the last thing I want to talk about is furniture, if we have time for that. So yeah, yeah. we were talking about VOCs are in building materials and in paint. So they're also in furniture. So I think we probably know already it's it's pretty widely known that mattresses um, have flame retardant in them, which is a VOC. So it's actually categorized as a carcinogen. <laughs> so that's kind of dangerous. So if you're in the market for a new mattress, go for an all-natural organic mattress. That would be a better option. But our 
furniture, one of the reasons that it's become very popular um, to upcycle furniture. So you see old pieces, people sand them down and they refinish yes. them. And like, wow, that's fabulous. Yes. Um, we see a lot of this now happening. It's pretty popular. It's trendy. It's very sheet. trendy. Yes, yes. It's very trendy. Um, part of the reason that it's great to do that is when you take an old piece of furniture most often it is higher quality wood. It's very durable. Um, it's not the stuff that was, you know, mass produced. And, and you take that old piece, you sand it down and you can get a low VOC paint or no VOC paint and refinish it. And now you have something new. So whether it's for your new house or you're just trying to freshen up a space, right. um, using an old piece of furniture that you redid is much better and will definitely prevent getting more of those VOCs yes. that are so bad for our health. And you can get a nice custom piece in whether if you're not yeah. the, the type who is really interested in taking on a project like that or not that handy, there are um, several, uh, definitely in our area, but but throughout um, local businesses that will do those and just individuals that um, this yes. is what they do. They love it. They have a passion for it. You tell them what you want and they will do it for you. Yes. And it's so great. It's so much more fun than mm -hmm. like going to Ikea or, right. right our yeah. van. I know our van's always having a sale, but you know, I, just avoiding that I think kind they of went stuff. out of business. Did they go out of business? Uh, I better uh, check, better fact check that. <laughs> Don't quote me, but. upcycling <laughs> too much furniture. They went out of business. Right, yeah. right, right. So, well, those are, so those are some great tips. So if you are, if you've moved into a new home or a home that's new to you and you're experiencing some of the symptoms that Valerie mentioned, um, you might want to, you might want to check into some of these things. You might want to, you know, have, if you didn't do it through your home inspection process, have your home checked for mold and see if there's something that could be remediated. Um, Absolutely. But in addition, yes, get some house plants, some new friends to join your home, you know, yes. <laughs> and, uh, and diffuse those essential oils. Um, and, um, yeah, if you're ready for a new furniture piece, you know, instead of just clicking online, you know, check, or check around and see what you could potentially upcycle. So. Yeah. It's a win-win, you know, you're supporting yeah. small, usually it's small local business. Yes. And also it's just, it's a nicer piece of furniture. It's something unique and it's not going to add to the toxic load in the house. Right. Well, yeah, I mean, really things that were made years ago, so high quality, um, so much better, such yeah. great quality. So, and I know you and I are both local, 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 we like to support local. So yeah, anything Definitely. that we can do to support our local friends and business owners, that's what, uh, that's our preference. Yeah, it's always so, fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, well, thank you so much, Valerie, for joining us today. And um, this is great information. I'm looking forward to having you back on. I know we have some other topics that are in line with a healthy home and what you can do as a homeowner to keep your home healthy. So I'm looking forward to having you back on um, in an upcoming episode. So. Awesome. Thank you so, so much for having me, Tracy. Happy New Year to you and you. Um, all your viewers. It's always so much fun to chat with you. It's always fun having you on, Valerie. Thank you so much. Thank you all for tuning in, whether live or on the replay. And we'll see you next time on Tea with Tracy. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.